let's look at making functions within MATLAB. First, let's look at them as a template. So I'm going to go into New and just open the function template. And we can see that all functions are started out by declaring the word function, then listing the outputs that we'd like to receive back from the function, the name that we're going to call the function with, and the input arguments or values that we're going to bring into it. We can then add a comment and then code that turns our input arguments or values into our output, and then we end our function. Let's look at one that we have. I'm going to go over here and open it up. And so this function is addition. And so we see that it starts with the word function. It has an output, which is sum. The name of the function is addition. It is saved as the word addition. Its inputs are A and B in between the function name and the end. We see that the output, which is sum, equals the input plus the other input. So if I desire to call this function, I could type in just addition and then type in two values that will be used as the input and push enter. And I can see that now the addition or the sum of two and three are now up here. Now it is listed as an answer rather than the word sum because I did not apply a variable name for it. If I desired to add a variable name, I could add like sum two if I desired, addition, and then I'm gonna go three comma five, semicolon. And now we have the exact same thing, but this is now labeled as this variable. To check that I've made my function correctly, I'm gonna do two things. Uh, first, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not pushing the word the run button because a lot of students make the assumption that I can that they can run this very similarly to how they run other code. The issue is that when they click run, the program doesn't know what A and B are. And so it automatically throws an error just like this. So it says there's not enough input arguments and then it causes problems. So I'm going to go and I'm going to close out of both of these programs. I'm going to go in, I'm going to clear my workspace uh, and my command window. And I'm gonna make sure the function that I'm referencing is in the same folder that I'm currently in. And then I can type in uh, a variable name for the output of my function, the name of my function, my two input values, and push enter. If that works, I should see then the output value or name listed as the sum of my two input values. And that's we're in good shape.